Well, welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of the Web Monkey. And today I am going to show you how you can make changes, how you can edit your WordPress template files using a text editor called Notepad++. Now there are other text editors out there such as Sublime, but I generally prefer Notepad++ because it's free and it's very, very resourceful. So let's take a look at my WordPress backend over here. I do have my storefront theme opened up and these are the template files that make up the theme. So if I wanted to make a change to like, let's say the theme footer, the footer.php file, I could actually do that over here, but this would be a nightmare. It's really hard to like keep track of the changes you're making from the WordPress backend. So in order to make this process a lot easier, we're going to use Notepad++. Now what I'm going to do is I am on the download page for the software. And if you're using a 64 bit by 64 bit computer, you might be tempted to go down here and click on the installer version of the 64 bit by 64 bit. But however, take note that, that there's a message here that says, note that the most, most of the plugins, including the plugin manager are not yet available in x64 so i would recommend that you go with the 32-bit version instead so i'm going to click on that button right there and let's wait for the download to finish it's a sunday and my internet connectivity tends to be a little bit slow on sundays okay all right so it's it's downloaded i'm going to click on the button Let's click yes. Let's change the language from English to Euskera. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to stick with English. Click OK. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Create a shortcut. Install. And let's run Notepad++. OK. Awesome. So now this is the interface for Notepad++. However, in order for us to gain FTP access to our WordPress website, we have to install a plugin on Notepad++ that would allow us to do so. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on Plugins, come down here to Plugin Manager, click Show Plugin Manager. Now this gives us the list of all plugins available to Notepad++, the very vast majority of which I have never ever used. So I'm just going to come down here and let's look for the NPP FTP. This is what we're looking for. Okay, and you can see it says a plugin that allows FTP, FTPS communications, very useful for web development. Indeed it is. So I'm going to click on install. It says an update is available to plugin manager. It is strongly advised that, you know, we update plugin manager. Okay, let's click yes. Okay, some installation steps still need to be completed. We have to restart. Yes, let's restart. It's restarted. Now let's repeat the process all over again. Plugins, plugin manager. Show Plugin Manager. Uh, let's expand this all over again. Let's come down to NPP FTP, FTP. Click Install. OK, let's click Yes all over again. <laughs> OK, so that's done. It actually installed when we had to restart uh, FTP, the uh, Notepad++ program all over again, actually. So that's it. We now have the software over here, the plugin over here. NPP FTP. So now I'm going to click on show NPP FTP window. And now down here to the right is where we have the section for our FTP information. So in order to add the FTP information for our website, I'm going to click on the gear button down here, click on profile settings. And now here I'm going to click on add new. And I'm going to go with a new profile, which would be test. Ideally, you'd want to type in the name of your website over here. So test. And now here for the host name, I am going to type in the address for the website. Tascopedia.com. My FTP username, which is test at Tascopedia.com. I'm going to add the password. Click on close and now I have this button over here to connect. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on test. And there you go. So now we have access to our core directory. I'm going to open up the WP content folder because this is the folder that contains our themes. Click on themes 
And now down here, I can click on the storefront directory and I can begin to make changes to the header.php file here as an example. So this is a pretty cool way how you can make changes to your WordPress template files using Notepad++. I would encourage you to also take a look at FileZilla if you needed to upload files to your WordPress directory. Notepad++ unfortunately cannot do that. However, with FTP, you can upload uh, videos, images, and so on and so forth to your WordPress directory. I do have a tutorial that shows you how you can use FileZilla. Check the link in the description box below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click on the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. And as usual, I will see you next time. Ciao.